I mean, I, uh, I'm just thinking of what, like, I'm mean, just thinking about my partner, uh, uh, Ed. Um, I mean, could he do three ten? I mean, would you take mm, one hundred thirty thousand for the house? Well, watch me lock up over two deals in under fifteen minutes. What's up, guys? Zach in here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you an awesome cold calling replay of the live I actually had today of me actually locking up two deals, basically getting price commitments from two sellers. One deal I got a hundred and sixty thousand dollar price reduction off the Zillow for sale by owner and none, and then another one a really good rental property guys I, I want to show you exactly how I talk to these sellers how I got them to get price commitments and exactly how I lowball them to get the best price possible in real estate wholesaling before we get into it do me a big favor and smash the like button and subscribe and let's get into it let's get into these two conversations I had in the state of Vermont this was a live cold calling replay I want to cut out everything in between. These are just the two really good ones I think you should watch. Uh, and you can actually watch me live talking to these sellers the right way. So before we get into it, make sure you actually read what I say. Take what I say also and see how I did it the right way so you can do the same thing in your real estate wholesaling business. Let's get into it. Hello. Hello, hi. Is this the owner of 236 Red Barn Hill Road? Hello, hi. This is Zach. Uh, I'm calling on a recorded line. Uh, uh, this is my business cell. Uh, I'm looking to buy the property. Uh, I do see the Zillow for sale by owner listed here. Um, are you still looking to sell the uh, property? Yes, I am. Okay. Hi. My name uh, is Zach. Is this uh, Keenan? Yes, that's Keenan. All right. Nice to meet you, Keen. Uh, so I'm looking at the property here. I know it's been listed uh, 146 days ago. So uh, how accurate are these uh, pictures from uh, the condition of it now? I mean, it hasn't changed. Okay. Other than I have took part of the shingles off the front side of the roof. That's it. Okay. Did you replace them? Not yet. I got a tarp on it there. I'm in the process of, of you know upgrade because I do have it listed as a, I am under renovation, right? Yeah. On the website, so yeah. So I started with the roof first. Okay, and all right, Keen. So is that price listed here with the renovations already done, or with them having to no, be done? No, but we're gonna the price. The price I put on there that was back then. Now we have gone down. Okay. So I'm down around. Okay, so I'm down around three seventy. Whoa. That's yeah. a big difference. Yes, it is. Ah, what what all made right. you come because up with that? Because I have started. Because I have started. All right. So now I have to, you know, I mean, to be nice, I got to drop it because I am starting things. You know, so it ain't what it was. It ain't what it is. But the property's still the same. The house still the same. Okay. All right. Okay. And. All right. So now everything. I mean, it's just the way it is because, I mean, I started off and now it's just what it is, right? I started working on it, so that's it. I mean, I dropped the place, but now I'm not, you know, it's not what it was. Got it. Okay. Um, if you can give me a quick rundown, I, I do see a little bit listed here, but I, I would appreciate it from you. Um, wh what needs to be done on the property? Just like, just a quick, I, I don't want to, I don't want to play any games. Like what, what needs to be done on it? Just so I can kind of calculate where I'd be at at this. What needs to be done? You mean yes. As far as the house? Yeah, renovation right. wise. Yeah, renovation wise. Okay. You know, new roof, siding, and a new furnace. Okay. 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 Because I do have natural gas. All right. I haven't got it to the house yet. It's at the end of my driveway. I haven't ran it yet because I'm not ready for it. But it does have natural gas. But yeah, as far as, you know, I mean, the siding's all right, it'll work, but I mean, it's the 70s house. Yeah. Right? Okay. So that's, that's what it looks like. It is, it is a 70s house. 
Yeah. And then the interior, interior court, yeah, new kitchen, bathroom. I mean, if you look at the pictures, you'll see that, you know, the bathroom needs to be done. I mean, everything's solid, but just needs to be upgraded. Got it. Right? Yeah. And, you know, I mean, that's what it is. All right? Okay. So that's where I'm at with that. I mean, I'm open to all beds and stuff, but I mean, that's where I'm down to now because it, I mean, I started on it, so now I'm like, I mean, I'm not sitting there going, well, I haven't started nothing, but I have started stuff, so yeah, the price goes down because now I'm starting to work on it. So now it's not quite where it was. I mean, got it. The way it is. Okay. I mean, one thing you got going for you here, Keen, on this house, like I, I was looking at some house I think outside Burlington built in like 1899. Like that's going to be a nightmare for me to renovate. So like something like this in the seventies, like something I can do. Right. Um, I don't think there's any ticking time bombs on a, a house like this versus like a way older house like that. So this might be something me and my partner might want to do. Um, I mean, it looks beautiful out there. I mean, you got the nice little walkway out there. Um, you got the forest out there. I mean, why are you looking to sell it? Well, I got another place. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, All right. I already, I've already built another place and stuff like that. And now I'm just sitting there going, I'm getting towards retirement. I'm sitting there going, All right, you know, now it's time to undo a little bit. You know, and I don't need to be this close to it. Okay. <sighs> That's where I'm at. I mean, it's one of them times it comes in everybody's life where you get to a certain point where you're like, I don't need that and I'd rather be. Yeah, you know, I had a camp up there and I rebuilt it and stuff like that. I'd rather be there than here. Got it. Okay. You know? Well, but I'm looking at as far as, you know, I don't need to be close to work anymore. I don't need to be close to stuff because, you know, when I get done, I'm going to take it easy. Okay. You know? I mean, so that's where I'm at. I mean, you see what's on there. I mean, I do have 10 and a half acres thereabouts. And I mean, I'm 50% open. So, Got it. Okay. And then it's agricultural. And then, uh, yeah, I have natural gas right at the end of my driveway. I guess it's got to run 100, 500 feet, and I got it right here. Okay. And, yeah, I'm close to Burlington. I'm within just under a mile from the interstate. Yeah, I'm close. Okay. And so I, I saw here it's a... For something where it's easy to access, you know, to get the places, you know, Pretty good, and you're out far enough for everybody needs a home. Got it. Okay. Um, I'm looking here. It says here a duplex. Uh, it, it's 50 percent approved for it. What's the story on that one? Right. I got all the permits there. Okay. Okay. For a duplex. All right. My duplex permit has ran out. It ran out by in I think September. Or uh oh. So as it is now, it's just going to be. You know, single resident as it is. Yeah, I just call for a residential. But I had put in for it because I was getting ready to think about doing that and stuff like that. And I had all the permits put in. So you can check with the state. I got all my permits in for everything. Going off the whole sheet back. Everything's in. But I sit there and go, well, I got to hold off here for a little bit. And then. Because I held off, it went live. So now it's not power anymore. So I got to change that. Got it. It's a All right? So as it is, as far as, and that's why the price went down, because I'm sitting there going, now I'm not, I can't use that no more, because now it's not valid no more, so I have to go to a single resident, seven and a half acres, who it is. Got it. Okay. So if, okay. all right, I'm trying to think. So if it's, if I make this into a duplex, um, I would just have to go get the permit. I just have to get a new permit there. If I would try to convert this into what, a legitimate duplex. What, yeah. Well, what you would have to do is have a meeting with the town and all the permits are there. So you've got everything there. You just got to go in and submit your plan. 
Okay. I mean, between you and me, you probably know this town a little better than me. How hard would it be for me to get plans uh, for a fully renovated duplex? Well, I was already approved for it once, so it shouldn't be too bad. Okay. You just gotta go in and present it to the town. The town's gonna sit there and go, oh, okay, we approve it. Okay. You know, within their specs. And, you know, but now I'm not sure what the specs are for the town. Yeah. All right. So, that's where it counts. Got it. Because, you know, the town changes their specs and stuff like that, and I'm not sure exactly what it is. But at the time I put that in, what, a year and a half ago and stuff, that's what it was, and now I got approved for it. Got it. Okay. Okay. So, we get down to the part where that if, if somebody wanted to put this place up here, they would have to cement and go to probably a couple of county meetings and have it get down the... Uh, Planning Commission. Got it. Okay. Within their specs. Within their specs. I'm not sure exactly what their specs are. I just don't like them under what they wanted, so I was all set. Okay. All right. And is this a house that you've lived in? Or is this a rental? I'm still here. Oh, okay. Okay. So. Yeah, I'm still here. Well, Keen, let, let me just I get to the. Moved. I haven't moved yet. I'm still here. Okay. Well, Keen, let, let me get to the point here. You know, I, I this might be something I might be looking to do. Obviously, I'd want to turn this into a rental with my partner. Um, I'm just kind of thinking of what I have to do to put put it into a duplex type. Um, if I bought this thing all cash, I just I closed whenever you want, pending approval with the city. Though, um, I mean, what what number works for you if I just buy it cash? Well, all right, so I'm down to three seventy. Okay. And you know, we're like that. But I am in I'm in the ballpark around three fifty. Three fifty. I'm so Keen, I'm looking at my numbers here. If I I'm yeah. just kinda of looking at the numbers, like if I gotta put yeah. fifty, sixty thousand into a full duplex type, um yeah. or I make it into an Airbnb, I'm I'm gonna have a lot of renovations on this. Um I mean, I understand that because, you know, it's not like I don't, I haven't done this stuff. I know what it is, all right, as far as what are the costs to bring it up to a certain extent. Yes. I, I mean, so. I mean, I, um, I'm just thinking what, like, I'm mean, just thinking about my partner, uh, uh, Ed. Um, I mean, could he do 310? Okay. You know, I, I mean, to not think about it, 350 would be nice. But 310, I would have to do a little juggling and see if it's worth my while to do that. I mean, you guys, you know, I own everything and I'm sitting there going, you know, I'm not worried too much about what I do. I'm just looking at the part where I want to retire. Okay. That's what I'm looking at. Okay. But, okay. Yeah, three ten. I ain't saying it's out of the question by no means. No, I'm not gonna say that. Okay. Well, Keen, let, let, let's kind of look at things here. If you got to think about it overnight and come back to me, you, you're gonna, probably gonna go home, right? You're probably home right now. You're gonna relax, go to bed, wake up, and then you might get some breakfast, dinner, and then like you probably got a ton of stuff you got to do. You're going to wake up tomorrow morning before I call you and like, shoot, I didn't think about it. And then I got to make a decision. You're going to make that decision. Yep. It's it's kind of not like, I mean, you don't have a calculator to do it. Like, I mean, does 310 work or does it not? Yeah. I mean, that's, I mean, you're, I mean, it's nice. You gave me a, you gave me a quote. All right, that's fine. I just got to see, you know, I'm going to look at it and I got to, Crunching, you know what I mean? Like anybody else, I do a little crunch and see. You know, is it worth it? I mean, I mean, guys, that's the way it is. I mean, I got a fairly decent piece of property here. You know, I mean, I ain't saying it's fantastic, but it's not bad. But 
I got to sit there and go, all right, you know, does it fit into my plan to get done, you know, to retire? Because that's where I'm at. I mean, it's got, is, is it worth my while to do it? You know, is now the time that I want to sit there and go, okay, pull the trigger, move up to my fucking camp that I rebuilt, get it all modernized and stuff. Because that's the thing, I did that first versus this, you know. So that's, because, I mean, I'm looking at the part where I am going to versus where I am now. Yeah, okay. I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm the, I'm going to look at it. Ain't no doubt. I appreciate that. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, I'll, I'll crunch it a little bit and we'll see what happens. Okay. What numbers are now, you crunching? What's that? So, what numbers do you got to crunch? Well, I'm crunching the part where that, all right, you know, how does this fit into my retirement? Okay. You know what I'm saying? Well, just okay. think about it. I'm FYI, though, yeah, like yeah, I'm gonna go home and crunch it too. It. If I crunch the numbers right now and I figure out it's 300, right. it's gonna be 300. So that's why I said 310 now, right. just to right. make it easier. Yeah, so you're risking that, thinking about it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I understand that. You know, I'm understanding what's going on. You know, I'm not, I'm not sitting and looking at the part where, oh wow, well, you know, I mean this. No. I said they go, I'm looking at the reality of this, you know, all right, versus what I do, what I got to do to do whatever I got to do here. I mean, yes, not a problem. So if that's the case, you're going to give me a call. What time are you going to give me a call tomorrow? Uh, 9 a.m.? off tomorrow. 9 a.m.? Okay. I am off tomorrow, so I can talk with you then. I'm going to. You know, look at it here a little bit and see, you know, yeah, will that work? I mean, I that's what it counts. Is it going to work? Because, you know, I'm at the age now where, you know, I'm looking at getting done, working. And I need to uh, downsize. I can't keep up with two places. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Well, just think about it. This thing's been listed for a while, and I, I, I will give you something to think I, I will give you something to think about. If you do not okay. take the 310, you can just keep li okay. having this property listed. And I'm going to be at 300 right. and offer that four months from now when interest rates keep going right. up. So just remember that. Yep. So yep. I understand it. Yep. I that's probably the best one I can do. But think about it. All right. I'm going to crunch the yep. numbers and uh, I'll call you tomorrow morning. All right. Very good then. All right. Have a great one, Keen. All right. Thank you. Keep thank you. Good day. You too. Bye. Hello. Hello. Hi. Is this the owner of 80 Brown Street? Uh, what's that? Is this the owner of 80 Brown Street in uh, Rutland? Uh, yeah. Hello. Hi. This is Zach. Uh, I'm calling on a recorded line. Uh, my business cell here. And I see a Zillow uh, for sale by owner here. And I was just seeing if you're still looking to sell the property. Uh, yeah, we are. Okay. Um, I had a couple of questions on this. Um, this looks like a multifamily. Um, where's the second unit? How's that all set up? So it's an upstairs, downstairs, uh, I guess you call it upstairs, downstairs duplex. First floor is one, one unit, second floor is the second unit. Okay. And they're not separated. What's that? And so they're not like separated more, more or less? Well, they're, they're separated. Yeah. It's one building. Got it. Okay. Okay. Sorry. I was just looking at the pictures here. I didn't really see it uh, on the inside here. Okay. Um, is this property currently rented? Uh, the upstairs is rented. The downstairs is vacant. Okay. Um, and if you don't mind me asking, uh, what are the rents on the property on the upstairs? Fifty for the upstairs. Okay, and what do you think you can get for the uh, downstairs? Uh, the same. We've been renting them for about the same money. Yeah, that's with nothing included. They pay their own water, sewer, heat, lights. Okay. Wow. All right. And I mean, can you tell me a little bit about the property here? I mean, it seems like it needs some renovations. Is there like anything else that needs to be done on the house? Well, yeah. 
exterior work as far as uh, siding. Uh, probably a few windows, I think, in the downstairs unit. I think the ups, upstairs was, was fine as far as windows. Um, it's got new boiler for the upstairs unit. The old uh, downstairs unit has a boiler. I don't know how old that is. We bought the property back in 2014. Um, you know, we put a new roof on it in 2015. But the in interior of the uh, downstairs unit, we went right through, did new kitchen, new bathroom. The upstairs unit uh, is the original from when we bought it as far as, you know, kitchen, bathroom. Okay. I mean, this looks like a cash cow. It's, it's putting some good amount of uh, rent coming. I mean, why are you looking to sell the property? Looking at downsides. We have a bunch of rental properties in the area, and we're just looking at downsides. Oh, okay. Okay. Hmm. All right. All right. Well, I mean, looking at this, um, how old's that roof? Because it says here there's a 30-year shingle. Yeah, 2015, we put the roof oh. on. Perfect. It was 30 year, 30 year arcs that we put on. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, you're a fellow real estate investor, so obviously you know what I'd be wanting to buy a multifamily like this. I mean, uh, what's your name? It's Bill. Bill? Hi, Bill. So this is Zach. Um, so it, I, I'm just kind of running off the numbers here. If I can rent it for 1250 each side. I mean, if I bought this thing all cash, me and my partner, uh, what would work for you if I bought this thing next month? I guess you throw me an offer and then I'll sit down and see if it works for me. I mean, I'm not going to throw any, any ideas out there. You know, I mean, I already have it listed. Do you see what I'm listing it for? And, and that's up to you guys to make an offer. Okay. Well, I mean, I, I see it's listed 169, but I mean, it's been listed for 117 days. So obviously that's not moving uh, unless I'm, there's something wrong that I'm not seeing. I mean, what, I mean, what do you take? Hmm. 130,000 for the house? Well, I guess I would have to uh, talk to my accountant and see what uh, she says and talk to my wife and see what she says also. Okay. Does, is the accountant a realtor? No, I, no, my accountant's my accountant. Your accountant? Yeah, my account as far as capital gains and stuff like that. Okay. I mean, uh, are you going to put this into another property? Potentially. Okay. I mean, you could... But maybe not. No, no. Okay. I mean, you can put this in a 1031 exchange if you really wanted to. If you move it over. You probably got a really good deal at it uh, when you first bought it. So Zach, is that is that what you're saying? Like around one thirty? I could probably be around one hundred thirty thousand on this. Yeah. Well, why don't uh, the phone number you call me from is that a cell phone? That's my cell, my business cell. Why don't I uh, give my accountant a call tomorrow morning and then uh, talk with her and then get back to you tomorrow? Okay, sounds good. I mean, that's my number. I'm not here to haggle, negotiate, like. There's a million multifamilies that I can buy pretty cheap here. Uh, but 130 probably works. It needs some work, um, but that's kind of where I'm comfortable at on it. So uh, talk to your attorney, uh, sorry, your CPA here and uh, let me know what happens. All right. And uh, are you, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Florida. Yeah. I, I can't buy a rental for uh, 500000 to make it work around here. Uh, so I'm looking for some cheaper real estate options around the United States. I got partners up in uh, Vermont that will uh, kind of take care of, do the management for me, all that stuff. But uh, I mean, do the math here in Florida, like South Florida. I can't buy something for 130 and then rent it out for uh, $2,500. Uh, that cash on cash just doesn't really happen here unless it's in a rougher part of the state, which doesn't work for me. So. Hurricanes, insurance, look it all up. It, like it, it, it dri it'll drive you crazy. Um, so, just cheaper real estate in the country, you know, makes more money. Yep. No, I get it. I get it. So I'll, uh, I'll be in touch with you tomorrow, Zach. All right. Sounds good. I appreciate it, Bill. All right. Thank you.
All right, have a great one. Boom, they worked, right? The thing I can tell you about having these conversations with these sellers is confidence is gonna be key. Once you convey that confidence out here, you can have conversations with sellers and have a lot better conversations. You'll actually get better contract prices and actually just better deals overall when you have confidence. Don't make age your excuse. I'm 22 years old and I'm actually getting these deals done pretty simple because I have the confidence and the knowledge in exactly knowing what to do. You can go out here and start cold calling the Zilla for sale by owners and you can start getting amazing deals right now by just taking action. Please take some action and you can do the same exact thing. Remember guys, if you got any value from this video, smash the like button and subscribe. Go to freeholstling.com to learn the entire wholesaling real estate process from A to Z and we'll see you soon. This is Zach and signing out. Have a blessed one.